Sega. Hello everyone and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Leon today along with the use of Mike Lieutenant Drake here at your service. And gunnery mate Rom. Give me a second, I need to pull something off of Kyo's head. There we go. I can see! <laughs> and welcome back to yeah. what's likely the final stream of Dawn of War 2 Retribution, which, well, as I keep saying, this game is good. It's just that going through the same story basically with well changes per faction does get <laughs> tiresome real quick yeah like sure stiff in dialogue and some missions have a slight very slight change while others are almost unchanged except the uh, dialogue i saw six 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 there <laughs> uh, okay who how <clears throat> yep, Chaos Marines, surprise. Hell Forces and such, 666. Yeah, and that's a surprise how exactly. <laughs> More of it. On the C, the, the way he picked up the C it says it's 6 of 6 and 6 again. And it's, you actually bumped my webcam there. Uh, ooh, pardon. <clears throat> okay, last time, well. The Exterminatus happens, and uh, Eliphas and Naroth are both on a very, very thin leash now. As in, they have only a few days to get Kairos and, well, not get their souls ripped out and tortured for all of eternity. <clears throat> so, let me take a look. Uh, note again, Naroth... Uh, hmm... Are you surprised it took three days only? Like, I feel like that's something you probably need a bit more than just three days. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, let's get this power here. And Kane, let's see. Can no longer be suppressed or knocked back. Increased health regeneration while attacking. Uh, cloud of flies. <laughs> yeah, let's go that way. I, I still, I find it a bit annoying that's. <laughs> The Chaos Marines have the least amount of speaking characters and such. Or at least characters with uh, <clears throat> actual personality and story. Okay, infantry killed by various are converted into an uncontrollable servant of Nurgle for a short duration. AKA, now the zombie apocalypse starts. Uh, I think you, may, you, forgot, you forgot one faction. Hmm? I had a Tyranids, but I, <laughs> I'd say those don't even count. They at least had a... They at least had Gabriel narrating. True. No, we have a bunch of optional missions. And, well, then there is Cyrene, where we'll actually get towards finishing this game. So, let's take a look at some of these. Observe and listen. An opportunity to grow our power has presented itself. Command Vox again, wanting a report. That's the fourth time this week. We keep giving them dead air, and it won't be long before they decide to stop by. They've got to be wondering who's accepting their munition drops, after all. They can fox every minute until doomsday, if they please. We will not respond. You have heard the whispers. You'll know, oh, Oak, 
the will, the voice. We are his now. He is here. Well, they have forsaken us. If they, if anybody wants these munitions, wants this meat, they must take it from us. Of course. Of course, sir. For all care. Okay. <clears throat> well, here we go. Hmm. Yeah, there really isn't much of anything I can add on now that we're going through this mission for the sixth written time. Yeah, I just realized. Perimeter breach. Intruders at checkpoint Tertius. All forces to arms. Gun them down. Bring their flesh to the keep. All care shall feast this eve. Oh dear. We're taking hell, <laughs> I was to say he's. Um... Someone at the door. Oh, uh, no, uh, what have to say? All right, it feels like that we have so many X bonus missions where we have only three days. Need to step like away for a moment. Hmm? All right. Uh, no, sounds like someone else already got to the door. Okay. Uh, all right. Welcome back. Never mind. Okay. None shall survive meeting me. Okay, that that were a few of the Nurgle, the servants of Nurgle. Okay, so they just they just return as a a version of themselves, just attacking enemies randomly. Iron Hide Slayer. Various must be getting quite a few kills if he's getting these many. Okay. I just realized, Elephas is almost max level. Huh. Now he's level 8. The rest yeah. are about the same as well. So yeah, halfway, not that much difference. Kind of halfway three to 9. Hmm. Someone going up the stairs real quick. Okay. I'm going to guess there might be... Max slept on the secret mission for okay, today. What the heck's going on, though? Hmm? There's something going on outside. Nothing bad, but... Something... <clears throat> loud. Do we yeah. come here, though? <laughs> All of those bulges into the concrete. Okay. How is it you allowed the invaders to remain breathing? Okay. Still a bit unsure about these three, about what's just cooling down or whatever went with some of the characters sometimes with this. I don't remember. I don't remember any of the gear or equipment saying anything about uh, <clears throat> about recharges or something. Or... Mm. I think someone had something. Hmm. Yeah, let, let's finally try out some freaking blood letters. Thank you. Okay. Uh-oh. What did you do? Mm -hmm. I'm all over. Uh-oh, for here comes the demons. Yeah, exactly. What did you do? The helium. Wait, what? Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> he was implying that you summoned them somehow. Uh, no. Wait, what? No, I was saying, no. no, I was saying, what did you do, Hillian? Oh. <laughs> no, I, I just... <laughs> uh, I, I just got them from here. It wasn't like I was doing anything. <laughs> well, technically, I was summoning demons, but... Not in that way. Folks. He confessed. He summoned demons. I mean, he's a chaos marine. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Wait again. Oh dear. 
I'm gonna expect a carnage. <laughs> well, there's quite a few the blood letters, and I'm guessing quite yep. Some of the servants of Nurgle as well. They they must be getting really lucky with being targeted or something, because I don't think they've taken a single bit of damage. Okay. Mm. Yeah. And again, as I've said for like the millionth time now, it's not that this game is bad, it's just that repeating it over and over gets boring. Yeah. It, yeah, that just has to happen a lot with... Yeah. Like a lot of game. I think um, original idea was to do like a one campaign, then do another game, then do a second campaign, and go like that. But Alien Ford, well, we do it just once per weekend, so it should be have plenty of uh, variety enough. True. <clears throat> it was true until uh, the last two uh, campaigns. Yeah, it, it's also just a nuisance that the the writing quality just is so different between every campaign as well. Yeah. Like, like most have you know, most don't even have a fourth talking character. And then there's just this one where only two of them are talking, and well, the Tyranid campaign. Yeah, the Tyranid campaign made sense. Like. It, Tyrannids are horrifying, but they are, oaks, as I said before, definitely hard to write. Yeah. Okay, let's turn that off. And get some kit. Yep. Okay, no chaos dreadnoughts. From a character standpoint, like, sometimes they will have their own personalities, you know, they, though they are very alien, so it does make it very hard to write them from a very alien perspective. <laughs> I'll yeah. be right back. I gotta do a thing. Oh, okay. Right. Oh, should we inform yep. what uh, we talked about uh, on Discord that we plan to do after we finish this game? Uh, yeah. Starting next week, we'll likely uh, we'll likely change up the schedule for the weekend some. Uh, at least for Saturday, we're thinking about changing things from two streams in a day to one bigger stream. Probably three hour, maybe four eventually. Yeah. I think we talked about doing that with Sunday streams as well. Once we're done with Showcase Sunday, but... Remain to see what happens. Yeah. <clears throat> at least next Saturday would definitely be a good time to test the waters. Okay, something's going on here. Uh. Okay, I'll I'll say that that was the uh, the aspiring champion trying to quote unquote encourage his subjects. Uh, I feel like there's some certain music we're missing there. Which one then? And which kind then? Uh, demonic techno. <laughs> I think just for speeding things up, I'll probably just ignore any other side effect, side objectives, and just go straight for the main objectives to speed things through. Because we've seen, we've seen all of this, yeah, it's five, five times before. Yeah. Uh, perhaps I should have gone looking around for. <clears throat> perhaps I should have gone looking around mods to improve this game or something after the, the first few campaigns but far too late for that now yeah and once again line of sight is being <laughs> a nuisance oh, i almost forgot something i actually learned uh, last night i think you yeah. we have talked about we want to stream that they be? finally released more info about the new issue mythology game. Yeah, I read that. I, I read that as well. It it now has a Steam page, so when it eventually does release, because currently it's still set as well release date twenty twenty four, so could be any time. <clears throat> But at least we'll know now when 
Hmm. Now at least we'll know when it would uh, release. Yeah, so hmm. we might stream that as it might be easier to stream it. Yep. But I forgot whether it's supposed to be a sequel or a remake. A remake, to my knowledge. Alright. Anyways, there's no have... re need to go that way. Hopefully it means they... There again. Every time we, I feel like every time we almost get to know what's supposed to be a remake near the monster, the rest of the developers don't know which is which and just mess up the uh, terms more. Yeah. Uh, one thing I did read though is that they are doing well, they are making it more than just a remaster. Though what that means, of course, we'll have to think, <laughs> we'll have to find out. I'm presuming they'll probably be adding some new bits to it. Uh, if they do the Chinese campaign, maybe they'll completely rework or finish that because, well, the version that came out with the... Was it? Was there an HD version of Age Mythology? The HD version basically only had that. Okay. Yeah, the, 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 basically the version that came with the... Uh, the <clears throat> the Chinese expansion included, well, <laughs> there's a reason it was never released, because it was never finished. Oh, so they released it as a cut content on Steam. Yeah, and it is very, very noticeable that it is unfinished in level design, in story, characters. From what I saw yeah. from on the title, no, I'm sure it was ready to use the old game, but in my, the Chinese one, the Pantheon will not be in the remake. Okay, probably for the better, because, well, there's bare bones and then there's that. Yeah, uh, there also... No, they, on the Steam, they did patch it out for until uh, 2020 there, until they uh, stopped the patching it. But they were trying to fix it, at least. At least the bugs. Uh, okay. Yeah, beyond but... bugs, I don't think they could have fixed it. Well, if it comes to campaign, then yeah, then you will basically need uh, three higher uh, voice actors and all that. But that would be a lot of work. Yeah. Okay. But I, it'll I'm be interesting surprised. to see what they might add anyways. Yeah, I'm not be surprised if they're going to save that as a DLC or something. For it. I don't. I haven't seen they announced anything about the Atlantis either, for which was also a DLC. So who knows? Maybe they pack in Atlantis in China and maybe some new ones into DLC packs in the future. Maybe. Provided it goes well. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I know I'm missing out on some loot by skipping that, but. Yeah, again, I'm, I am just getting really tired of this game now. Yes, yes! Come on, believers! All care welcomes all! Have they made each faction's mission more... more different from each other? Exceptionally, they actually felt like it uh, was actual proper different campaigns. We will not have had this, uh... Annoyance. Boredom to, to, to kick in. I wouldn't call it exactly boredom, but it's not really exciting really much as well. Yeah. Yeah, but it's not boredom more of... We've been here before. Six times. Okay. Maybe we can try and make one of these shrines, see what that uh, does. It does some temporary blood letters. Effectiveness increases when worshipped by heretics. Okay. So... Oh, they are actually worshipping at it, I think, now. Hmm. Uh, isn't someone missing here? There they are. Okay, a bit late to the party. Hmm. I guess also another reason is, I don't know, like, the other faction at least felt that they were playing some of it. Chaos doesn't seem to be as fun as the others. 
It definitely has some interesting bits that could uh, that could have been uh, played up more, like with the different factions and uh, with the different uh, chaos gods and such. But uh, yeah, as is just the normal. <laughs> Could have played thing you know, played into the you know, each different one. Letters just <laughs> intruding on the scene. Okay, I probably should have seen that coming. That that would lead to well, <laughs> our ultimate unit. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Finally, got to see a bit more change on this one, even though it was not the biggest. But yeah, great unclean one. Oh no. Yeah. Can vomit bile on enemies, project a poison aura, and drag enemies toward itself. Upon destruction, its explosion deals damage to enemies and heals allies. Okay. <clears throat> and we got the Iron Hide Slayer. 50% knockback resistance and range damage resistance. Crafted in the yeah, crafted in the forges of the Iron Warriors, this weapon first saw action in the deserts of Talarn during the Titanic struggle for the Cursors, uh, cur Cursors of Ulganar. In the centuries since, it has destroyed countless war machines in the service of the Ruinous Powers. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Let's still do a bunch of the uh, a bunch of the side quests of Staff of Lil Delhi. Uh, Doombolt. Da -da -da. Lower spell recharge times after by a significant amount. Plus ten armor. Okay. The adept Lildel uh, was selected to act as a scribe for the sorcerer Marque Mar uh, and bore witness to the conflict with the Blood Ravens on Aurelia. He took much of what he learned during the campaign to re resurrect Ulcare, one of uh, which was crafted, uh, one of which was crafting a powerful four staff with which he planned to usurp his master. At the Battle of Chapter Kipsilanon, it was Lildel. Who was soon who was seen commanding Marquis Coven, eager to bring an end to the Blood Ravens campaign. Okay, a bit of side stuff on Aurelia. Hmm. All right, and well, easy pickings. Yeah, the, we've been skipping that one out for a bit little too long now. Okay. literally have nothing to add on this apparently There's not shows again that this game was still plenty rushed and the only thing we can really yeah. get of worth here is a some armor with a pretty good armor rating though hmm so if we go for this Wait. one or should we skip a mission for once only but i lost the 70 percent damage range stamp yep I, I, i'm not against skipping this one but that armor is not bad. Hmm. 
Let's take a look at the other one then. Typhon Primaris. Brothers and sisters, the human ships have carved large fissures into the world. Some deep enough to cleave the buried craft world. We located the infinity circuit. The flames reach deep and every biodome, every soul stone, nothing remains for us here. All to report to the webway assembly. Once we return to the webway, we will collapse the channel to the craft world, sealing this tomb for eternity. The despair of the Eldar is delightful. Surely it is a sign that we must go forth and compound it. <laughs> Should have, shouldn't have expected anything else from them. Um, a bile spewer, which isn't all that interesting, and these aren't really interesting either. But chaos marines, we, we do use the chaos marine a lot, so that one I least... Nah, not as much. They're based. Mm. This mm. is just turning them into melee units, which well, is <laughs> not. When they can just be firing from a distance, I'd prefer that. Hmm. Uh, let, let's see if there's any new dialogue here. This does tend to go qu pretty quickly anyways. Yeah. It's just that the other one tends to take longer because it's a defense mission. Well, it's not super long, but it's also not really most exciting either. You, you dare violate this tomb! You pathetic, soulless savages! Very well. If you are so eager to hear our cries, I shall shred your mind with the wail of the Banshee! Butcher them! Do not let them near the gates or the assembly! Mm, and now that we've played through the Eldar campaign, it also adds on a bit of context of why she is so hyper-aggressive here. Just, they're basically still, well, grieving as well, because basically, yeah, a good section of their race has been killed here. Yeah. yeah. I believe the number of different craft worlds ranges somewhere in, like, a dozen. It definitely doesn't reach 20, if that I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that that probably all many, but all this with really limited numbers for making a new one is probably not easy. Yeah. Protect the webway gates. They lend the power to hasten our escape. Losing one will slow the assembly's departure into the webway. Hmm. I kind of want to see if we can get to it without destroying any of those. Yeah, that was a process. Croft is not just a that's his ship to just live on. He has biomes, as I mentioned, like they have actual animals, forest and full bi biosphere inside it. Yeah, they're basically, basically like oversized colony ships. And only the colony is on the ship. It's not meant to start colonies, it is one. Yeah. It, how can you say you Okay, I can't really call it a, it's a land Again. ship, if you call it that, or a world ship. I think it has been called a world ship. Hmm. So that's kind of loosely, but you get the point. Like, it's a steel ship, but it's basically a function like a mobile planet. Yeah. Let's see. We'll be passing by this one. So we probably we might just destroy that one if we can't actually we can't avoid this one at all unless we specifically run past it. Hmm. Oh, Eldos who do live on planets. They're also a cenobites. Uh, oh, no, not cenobites. Uh, exodites. <laughs> yeah, that's cenobites or something completely different. <laughs> yeah, I just remember that's okay. completely different. Oh, welcome back, Rom. Welcome back. I'm back. Welcome back, back. It's a stupid little joke, I know. I'm rather ashamed of it. Okay, we can, can just move on instead. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It, was, it was mostly just fiddling with the stuff in Left 4 Dead 2. Just 
Bosch have gone. Okay. Right. Is there what yeah. else to say? It, it, it would be a bit of a shame to not stream that game again uh, after the amount of time we <laughs> we put gathering up mods for it and such. Yeah. Yeah, hmm. but at the same time... Yeah, what just does, safety. What yeah. Yeah, for... It is a big risk! Right. If we do pick, if we do try it again, first, <laughs> first thing is of course <clears throat> that we are not <laughs> that we are not leaving a space open for someone to jump in, and spectators yeah. are also going to get blocked. However, that can be done. Uh, I think I saw that you can just uncheck the spectator mode or something. Yeah, we'll have to see. No, I, think, I think it might, might be that if everyone. But uh, particular need to uh, turn it off, possibly. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone just keeps getting cock blocked by the terrain. You would think he would only really throw those if he was certain they would land, but apparently he's not that smart. Well, you know, chaos. Irrevelly randomness. But almost. Nah, I wouldn't call that randomness, it's just him being an idiot and throwing spells into the ground. I, I guess you could say that's another show of the game getting rushed because, well, the AI is uh, being an a idiot. bit dim here and there. Yeah. Oh, right, oh, right, no, right, right. The Exodites. Elder Exodites. There were probably many would love to play them, but there's one problem with the Exodites. And that is? Uh, they don't space travel. Okay, so for that you would basically only be able to play them as an offensive faction in a story. Yeah, like, they have, probably have a lot of planets, just... Yeah, they're more way defensive than offensive. At least, they can go on the offensive of their own planet to exterminate them, but they stay in a defensive manner, so... While many want to play them and have made the converted armors of them, but yeah, they... Game Workshop kind of really did uh, not think through or to, uh, and did not realize that. Uh, they probably realized too, like, oh, how the heck do we use these? <laughs> yeah, I, I believe one of the things with them is that they are intentionally laying low. That as well. And they would probably be extremely OP on the tabletop, but consider what they ride. Dinosaurs. And scavenging yeah. our bodies, mindless. Vermin. It'd be really fun to have like dinosaurs on the RTS. The Inquisition's ships come for all <laughs> in this sector. It matters not whether you die by our <laughs> hand or theirs. Hey there in chat, Sensei. How are you doing today? Hey, Sensei. <laughs> and yeah, you can see for anyone who was Dino Riders. That's basically what Eldor Exodite are. Chorus of the Damned. The Nornate box, sealed with chains that emit a chorus of in inaudible whispers. Those in possession of the box can amplify the songs of, uh, of the chorus to, <clears throat> to afflict those around them, establishing an instant connection to the warp itself and overloading their minds with the horrifying images con it contains. Okay. Another spell or some. Let's see, Armor of Brutality, 66 Armor Rating, Attacks return a portion of the damage as health. Okay, good tank armor. Bearing the scars of countless battles, this armor has preserved the lives of many champions of chaos whose zeal to send souls into the warp outweighed their own sense of self-preservation. <laughs> of course. And Xena 2 Demon Maul. There are few souls in the known galaxy powerful enough to wield this demonic maul with any proficiency. Among those that are able, it is an even smaller number who are able to maintain any semblance of sanity after having used one. <laughs> uh, let's see, since I am good, how are you? Doing pretty well myself. Do good here as well. And let's see. Medringard's plasma gun. Reduce target armor for duration on hit, not on chance. When hit by a ranged weapon, 100% chance per hit to heal all nearby allies for 5 health. Okay. 
The lightless pulses of energy fired from this rifle have been likened to the black sun of uh, of the A of A demon worlds trapped within the eye of terror. Uh, yeah, let's see. Since I, how is everyone? Sorry. No worries. I figured you meant that. <laughs> let's get like, uh, this thing. The Bilus Cometus on hit severely slows enemy units whilst causing our own unit to move faster and 25% chance to knock back. Said to contain some of the vile essence of the great unclean one Bocholaz. This horrific bile spear is named after the ominous Babel Star of Arius. Okay. That's going to various. I think... I think giving him a bile spewer will probably be help him be able to kill quicker anyways, which would need well, lead to more zombies. Speaking of, allied infantry will also become Nurgle <laughs> servants for a while. And let's see, give you that. Give you I that. I remove my hands from my eyes now. Yes. Good. If I was eating. <laughs> um... Let's see. Let's give you the rocket launcher again. And, okay, we can give you this. But not much chance that you'll have much use of it. Um, regeneration while he's attacking. If not deployed, Chaos Space Marines. And let's go for this one, since infection is very as a thing. Uh, yeah, infection. If Kane can help spread that around. That'd be interesting, though. He is going to mostly be at the back line again, so not too useful. Demonic right. Let's get that. Another slot. Grants the horrify ability. Causes units around the caster to flee in horror. Units uh, become completely demoralized. Train life. Consume. Warp. Berserk. And I don't think you'll have much use for this. Actually, Kane can use that. Hopefully. Finally, Kane gets something. <laughs> that won't be much use since it kind of needs to be brought into from stealth. <laughs> now, let's go with those. Okay, Alephus. Armor of Madness. Enemies attacking elephants have a chance of going berserk and attacking their own allies. Let's go with that. Okay. Nothing no yeah, nothing new for you. Is this one that does not deal more damage, so it can immediately be turned into mulch. Mm-hmm. Experience to someone. No real needs for that. Let's see, 16, 40. 32, 27, 66. Now we can trash that one, but I don't think we can trash this one. Yep, cannot dispose of. Okay. Then one more side mission remains. Let's see. Chosen Space Marines, Ancient Dreadnoughts, Plague Marines. Hmm. Shall we go also with just the Honor Guards? Because we've, we have, I don't think we've taken them along at any point up to until now. Uh, might be good for this mission. Hello. Oh, hey, did you guys know uh, Power War Sim Simulator got a is getting a DLC for, with Warhammer 40k? Yes. Yep. I I think I actually made that joke when we uh, showcased it, <laughs> and I yeah saw it the other day with a friend uh, linked it to to Discord. I was felt. I feel like I'm joke to this one. This is biting my arse now. <laughs> yeah. Now, whenever I, now whenever the uh, cold mechanic talks about cleansing anything, I'm just thinking that uh, they're just power washing the outer fuck out of it. Yeah. Okay. But it wouldn't make sense for them to do uh, a proper clean of equipment as well. Hmm. I just realized that it probably would have been better to 
bring Varius along anyway, since, well, he has his new ball thrower. And he would turn a lot of Tyranids into, well, zombies. Which could have gone, uh, which could have yeah, been pretty interesting. It been impossible. I never heard of zombified Tyranids. It's 208 solas just to buy Dawn of War and all the and all the stuff that came with it. Yeah, because it had quite a few expansions. Yeah, I want you to convert 208 solas into dollars. Hmm. I'm never gonna get used to you say using the word solas. None shall well, that's what we call it. It's it's the sun. Yep. Yeah, yeah just. I, I'm gonna blame Dragon Age Inquisition for this. Yeah. Uh, There's a character named Solus there. <laughs> so less. So less with no A in the middle. S O L U S. No U either. Okay. You need me to type it for you. So, S O L O S. <laughs> if I get it wrong again, just type it, yeah. S O L O. Yeah, S O L O S. Okay. Okay, I miss being mishearing you then. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. You had an extra O. It's S O L E S. Okay. <laughs> You know what? Fuck it. Give me a minute. Now, let's get one batch of those and just well, <laughs> chaos havocs as many as we can have. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, the, the plague marines are anti-armor, and the only real armor we'll be seeing will be coming out of there, so they are not going to be that useful. Still, they'll be able to cause some chaos, probably, just by being nearby. Actually, cancel that. Build one of these here. Your forces obey. Um, then? Hmm? They are, they are out of chaos. It's in the name. Of course it will cause chaos. <laughs> Uh, oh, you are not the ones I was... Let's see. Why is it called an, a labor engine? Uh, probably, uh, yeah, it's probably because it's just meant to be moving stuff around. Okay, wait, did that... I think that actually enlarges the area there where they could work... where their buff reaches as well, huh? Okay, you lot point that way. How many do... Okay, only two Havoc squads. That is a bit annoying, but I will. Okay. Hmm. This is kind of a bit more defensive than you'd expect of Corn. Uh, yeah. Since these... Well, they, they aren't... They are going to be hanging around more. Uh, wait. Can I just... There we go. Okay, now they'll be speeding up production there. Okay. Uh, you lots go stand over here, because we will be facing an attack from there eventually. Elephus, he can actually check the rear guards. Yeah, most of them will be coming from here anyways. And immediately they get suppressed and rushed by blood letters that are exploding because they're dying. Or are more accurately being sent back to the warp because the demons typically don't actually die. But it can, but it's very hard to do. Uh, okay, that's a... <laughs> That's a Tyranid whose planet what needs him. Hey, uh, what the heck? Of course I forgot that uh, I can use the sound word, but it would be perfect to do so. Yep. Ah. Okay. 
you know, they are they are really just getting bogged down there. Maybe I should move this shrine closer. Uh, I think I saw one of the bloodlenders explode. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they, they've all been exploding when their timer runs out. Why the heck did they explode into space marine armor? Okay, that I did not see. Uh, let's see, can you take a quick shot? There. There we go. Yep, more. Okay. Point a this way. Alright, the tequila. Okay, this Holy. really shows how much you can bog them down if you manage to suppress them early enough. And one gets through. Yeah, it's the one that actually counts as a vehicle. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, if, if the game had more defensive missions, then these shrines would have been really useful. Yeah, like, couldn't they feel, feel like they, they, almost like they were supposed to be more levels? Yeah. Okay, that opens up, though I don't think many have actually come to attack us from this direction in the past. So nothing much to worry about. Most in the meantime, the actual threat just appears here. Yeah, actually, hmm. something I've, I've always been confused with in this game since we learned about it is it has DLCs, but it's those DLCs with tower necrons and such are only for the multiplayer. This confuses yeah. me a little bit. Only for the horde mode. You lot yeah, point that way. Still confuses me. Feel like. They bought it to... They had... They had enough time to make those... But nothing else? Mm. Something that also helps here is that the Havocs don't need setup time due to one of the perks we picked for Kane, I believe. So they are a lot quicker on being useful. Okay, everyone reposition again. And yeah, having a dreadnought is always going to be useful in keeping your flanks covered <laughs> with heavy fire. Ooh. Yeah! Uh, reminds me of something I actually found on YouTube the other day. Mm -hmm. uh, apparently, someone made an only animation along with some other friends. A bit of a... Uh, 40k anime opening. Ooh. And I think you're gonna guess the theme uh, with with whatever with this specific anime opening song they added to it. Okay. Evangelion. Yeah, of course. <laughs> why Ava? Because well, why not? Well, Apparently this video was mostly about someone who got into it then dreadnoughts. Uh, <laughs> Getting the dreadnought, thought, Kenji. Yeah, basically that. I, I mean, I sort of thought, okay, what kind of 40k yoke is this? And then I get out of they're gonna use the titans. Nope. They went with the dreadnoughts. Okay. You, uh... You go die in glorious <laughs> battle, I guess. I think I mentioned this already, but there is a character in Gundam who effectively just becomes a dreadnought. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm somehow not surprised. Basically, in the Gundam anime Iron Blooded or, or Iron Blooded Orphans, uh, one of the one of the antagonists goes through so many defeats and deaths that he winds up basically being turned into his own mobile suit. More like a life support yeah. then, I'm presuming. Something like that. It's not a unique trope, it's I guess an uncommon trope for 
another game I've seen something like that happen, it would probably be StarCraft. But I basically, like, when a Protoss had the... In two damage, they put them into a Dragoon suit. Mm. These are those four like laser blasters. Okay. Build that there. Uh, what's it say? What what's that sound? No no. Okay. You get into position. Remember to close the door. Don't be still building. Okay, you go over there. I turned that one into a miss into a melee and dreadnought. Uh, uh, point you that way. Through the barrels. Point that way. You there. Let's see. Apocalypse power swords. Elephas, rear guards. Okay. Okay, that was either a Plague Marine popping like a zit, or the Plague Marines are actually spreading various infection around. So they pop like a snake. Probably. Mm. Yeah. Quiet from the peanut gallery, Narrow. <laughs> I, I doubt I would ever collect Chaos Marines, where I do have respect for the models. I do have respect to Nurgle models, but I would so definitely never buy and pay the Nurgle model. Yeah, that, that would just be <laughs> torturing yourself. Yeah. Yeah, the, the thing about it, the best moment you should put paint the Nurgle model is when you're sick. Okay, okay, finally, at the end, I remember to actually get them to work on that. Nine riddles. Oh, dear. What do you say there, Rob? I mean, if you're painting a Nurgle model or thick, that'd be fitting. Yeah. This kind of fit the... I have a friend with, uh, who collects uh, World Eaters, uh, Core Marines, basically, and he has cut his fingers on them so many times. <laughs> This is why sharpness is probably. This is why when you make a when you make a suit of armor, you don't want to make it so sharp your fucking fingers get cut. Don't presume to Just look at yeah. it. Yeah. But it wouldn't be edgy otherwise. I think I did. I did joke video that if someone asks if the about the detail of the blood on your be figures, just tell them it's literally your own blood on them. Yeah. So funny. Th Holy shit, that is some really good looking blood detailing. Yeah, about <laughs> that. I just showed them my fingers covered in bandages. <laughs> yeah, that's basically what he had to do. Uh, but he okay. cut his hand on the models and with the modeling knife he had to cut them out with. Let's see. Apocalyptic. Yeah, apocalyptic. Apocalyptic. Yeah, trophy. What was the. <laughs> what the hell was that? <laughs> How did you energy fail it, man? En energy no regen to nearby allies. Draw back the shadowed veil of reality and let the truth of the warp flow from the voids. And then supplication of the predators. Trophy pledging the obedience of the you know, crews of chaos predators to Eliphaz's cause. Recycle to upgrade predators. And apocalypse power swords. Lowers a stacking defense debuff. Fashioned from part of the blade that killed the Iron Hand's first captain, Gabriel Santar, during the infamous dropside massacre on East on uh, East Fun Five, this deadly blade crackles and sings with terrifying energy. Okay, East Fun Five—that's when uh, basically the, the traitor legions uh, revealed themselves, and well, by ambushing and massacring a mass amount of Space Marines from orbit. <clears throat> yeah. And let's see, the nine riddles, plus 50, plus 50 armor and a bunch of health. Each of the nine segmented portions of this armor have a question etched upon them, each question in a different tongue. 
Followers of Zinch believe that answering each riddle correctly guarantees the bearer ascension to demonhood. I think that might actually be stronger than the one than the piece we can pick here. Oh. Yeah. Mm. No CT again? Yeah, it's definitely stronger. <laughs> but we'll still grab it, because I have little interest in just a short little hop for the blood letters. Okay, that leaves only the last mission. What? Second last mission. Uh, yeah, the, the second, uh, the last missions more. Let's see, Elephas. Mm-hmm. Health and armor rating. How much? You are 44 at the moment. Yeah, 146. <laughs> oh, the banner. <laughs> oh, hello there. <laughs> and let's see. The filer armor. I think we might give that the various here. Was that someone's skin? Yeah. over the... Do, do you expect anything else from Chaos Marines? Yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> they they do worse, actually. It, I, I actually told Hale this. I, I saw this from a joke video, but it's from an actual model. They attach a, the upper body of a person onto a banner. Yep. And he's still alive. They put that's cables in him to keep him alive on the banner. Yeah. Let's see. Trade and that's in. the Night Lords, folks. <laughs> yeah, the, the vampire that. marines. <laughs> wait, wait, what? The empire marine? The vampire. Uh, I think you may think about the Blood Angels. I think the Night Lords, they, you've... As technically you could call them vampire marines, probably they just they don't drink blood. They just look like vampire wannabes. Okay. The blood angels gimmick was that they just No wait, that's the blood ravens wrong. wrong yeah, the, the blood ravens are the ones who will steal anything that's nailed down and even that they will st still start to steal. Brother, yeah. get me the crowbar. <laughs> Oh, gods. <laughs> yeah, I believe the Blood Angels have the Blood Lust or something, or Blood Rage, something. Red Thirst. Yeah, the Black Rage. But yeah, they, they do also drink blood. Okay. The Night Lords, yeah. they are recruited for the worst criminals, and they see everything needs to be punished by some brutal punishment that uh, involves... Uh, Either death or mutilation. Yeah, of course. And if you get into <laughs> Yale somehow, well, you maybe get recruited by the Night Lords. And they had a very whole feeling that they invaded the planet and to, to make sure they would, that they surrendered, they dumped every corpse from the soldiers they faced in the space and they just rained it all over the city. Probably even several cities, just rained corpses. And okay, yeah, the did surrender. I'm guessing whoever wrote that uh, read about how in ancient times <laughs> uh, armies would chuck corpses over walls with catapults and such and thought, we can do better than that. <laughs> uh, but that would have just took the wool a new meaning to its raining men to a disturbing level. It's raining dead men. <laughs> Very much. Uh, hmm. Okay, we have the final gift of the Dark Gods here. Elephus would get a Demon Maul, Varys a Power Fist, Kane a Lance Cannon, and Neroth a Staff. I have to say that I am a bit disappointed. Wait, when? Oh, I forgot to... I forgot to swap the damn thing out. Okay, now some of his attacks are going to come out as Doom Bolts. What? You fuck... <laughs> I thought it already swapped it out. Okay. That explains a bit. We can, uh, we can trash that as well. Yeah, okay. These guys will be max level of the, the next mission. Yeah, and if anyone comes up short, we have this. Now, as I said earlier, we will 
definitely skip the end credits. Like, we see, yeah. see the video, they have as an end video, but the credits we're skipping this time. Yeah, I, I forgot how long they... It, I think it was somewhere between 18 and 23 minutes, so definitely skipping Hello. it. We've already shown it a few times. I think, it's, I think it was more like a 25. Either way, way too long. So, yeah. Who are we going to give this to? Elephus already has a good weapon. Neroth has a good weapon. Various has that new Bowl Spitter. So I'm thinking we give uh, Kane a last cannon. <laughs> give him an oversized oh. laser pointer to play with. Why not? I can't think of a damn good one for all we know. Let's see. Annihilator. Mm -hmm. Attacks return all of their damage as health. A last cannon of the Black Legion born of a unique pact made with both Korn and Nurgle at once. That its wielder uh, may only sow death and that in doing so may never uh, may never know it himself. Uh, what, how, is, uh, how is that supposed to be meaning? <laughs> like... Yeah, wait, wait, the damage. What the heck is with the damage? I feel like there's a joke there. Yeah, three, three, three. <laughs> And uh, uh, attacks return all of the damage as hep. Th this almost feels OP. <laughs> if he'll be at the back range anyway, so he won't be using it. Okay, now now I think I get it. the The thing is, the thing is cursed, so that whoever wields it will face uh, will only well leads to death wherever he goes, even among his own uh, allies and such. <clears throat> oh dear. And let's see. We got the mark of corn for the Chaos Predators. That increased damage output and movement speeds. So good upgrade to get all this <laughs> at any cost. Okay, Cyrene. Okay, now I'm a bit curious. This is not the first. If, yeah, that who care you know, pokes in with this, but if we hadn't done the side mission, uh, would would who care even be here to help with this? Possibly. Okay, back to everyone, and in we go. I just realized we mm -hmm. maybe accidentally avoided many good upgrades for the Chaos Marines, but it looked like they had. Other uh, range weapon alternatives. Hmm. Gods have mercy, they're here. Lads, hurry, get this thing moving. They're gonna slaughter us. Close and strike. I think the only really ranged up upgrades for the Chaos Space Marines, with the base ones, is uh, plasma guns. Model auto uh, visibly pops in and drops to the ground. Uh-oh. <coughs> pardon? Your pardon? Okay. Again with these, I have no idea what that is. Is oh, wait, oh I think I I think I finally figured it out. It's the infection. It's the it's the infection doing its work healing them. 
Okay. Infection, lovely. Okay, not enough energy. And I, Let's uh, get something. some predators to the uh, field this time. And oh dear. Hmm? Uh, I don't know something disturbing for the K Lord. That is chaos related. Oh. Uh, something, uh, something slanesh did to a person. Okay. He, um, slash turn one of the followers into a, um, planet. Okay. As in a round, fat person running off as a planet. That is definitely a new one. I'll give it that. Yeah, I'm... I don't know if they are in the real space or in the... What? It looks very disturbing when you realize that that's a human turned into a planet. And I think I don't know if one of a double episode of uh, some channel that they were talking about uh, uh, planets in 40k. <laughs> to talk about which ones would be realistic and not. I think they picked that one just to Describe on how that will not be possible. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Seems that the Great Unclean Gun one is more of a micromanaging super unit. Oh, that's just a bit annoying. Mm -hmm. Ugh. I actually don't know what's the most disturbing. The unclean one or the one people called the clean one. <laughs> okay. Basically, yeah, just take an unclean model and just somewhat decided to scrub all the bones and bones away so it looks smooth. Okay, yeah, but I think at that story. point you need to. I, at that, I think at that point you would need to scrub it down to the freaking bone. Oh, they just load the boils and such, but uh, you still look like a uh, unclean when you're clean instead. Yeah, that sounds more like a meme. It, it, it's basically a meme at this point. It, it stole as a you picture which became a meme. Actually, go clean that out. Really? Very good. Just tell the unclean one to clean out a tower. Uh, yeah, I, really? was telling, I was telling various two since, well, Bile Thrower is basically a flamethrower, and which works really good at clearing out buildings. Okay, that's the disgusting for you told someone with a vomit cannon to clean out a tower. Yeah, clean it out that's of not enemies. Clean. <laughs> oh no. Uh, now I've got the stupid <laughs> idea of uh, another DLC for Power Wars, but it's a no. <laughs> it's for the chaos version. <laughs> I was just to say say this before you said that. Developers of Power Wars, please! Don't make a Nurgle version of that DLC! <laughs> I wonder what they would use to clean blood? They, 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 would, they would be defiling it by just taking a... You'd start with a clean object and then you would need to muck it all up all over the place. And if it's Nurgle, it would be a bile and snort and the other, you know, unclean stuff. Yeah. yeah. I was a surprised that me and Hilia are still in stink on this. Because I wanted to want to not do it. He wants to do it. <laughs> yep, yep, that's a bunch of them all of a sudden. <laughs> okay. I, I think I think we might I we should have gone with down this line from the start. Just for the sheer stupidity of just so many <laughs> zombies running around. Yeah, dude, it was a bit weird. I thought poxwalkers were unable to use guns effectively. Yeah, it's not really that they're poxwalkers, they're more of a. 
you know, something else. I would say fox walkers. Yeah, servant of Nurgle. Is what the, oh, is the exact see. wording. Okay. But yeah, once we're done with this game, next week likely we'll uh, we'll start with go. Yeah, we'll start doing three-hour streams in a instead of two uh, two-hour streams. Get along, you. Yeah, and we make a full-hour stream. I do. Actually, I say this. It's probably a good thing we do it for all to sell. Mainly that uh, long streams. Yeah, since we don't know how long the game might actually go for and such. Yeah, and then and then the some of the missions are either short or very long. Yeah. And it feels like <laughs> we're showing a lot by not also not showing enough in a way, like it feels a bit how to say this, it feels weird. Just to assume it too, I always does it feel like we show it has a weird Enough. feel of the showing too little in some way. At least it's not to the point where we're looking mostly at the camp. And, well, as a real-time tactics game, we are supposed to be taking our time with it. Oh, yeah. Though I, I am willing to change one thing with it. And that would be uh, less safes coming. Even as much as that is a practically a requirement in the f genre. As in that if a firefight breaks out on accident, that I don't immediately quick load to the last point. And I actually well, try to fight <laughs> try to fight my way out of that. Yeah, the, 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 I would say it's this same scum a little bit. It will depend on the situation on how badly you messed up. Yeah. Right. Like, if it is a mission, you will instantly fail? Yeah, then it's very it much <laughs> understandable. But if it's just... Uh, if it's just sneaking around, not as an absolute requirement, then I'll try to uh, yeah, not jump back to the last quick save instantly, just because I messed up. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, he looks so horrible to look at. Look at him. Look at him. I don't want to. Why are the Jekyll physics on him? Because every other person who could have them also wears heavy armor. And if the sisters caught you staring, you'd get burnt at the stake anyways. Oh, thank well, you I for reminding me of uh, I think plenty joke. of people would go uh, worth it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, there's a clip on from Idiot Team mm -hmm. Where he, uh, Basically, the joke is a impure god is hiding Kino hey. Magazine of uh, Sorotas. Uh, I forgot the name, but the ones. Uh, this is the non unit with uh, very only rags and a massive sh two handed chainsaw sword. Okay. Yes. Uh, now I can feel it. The frenzy. The bloodlust that all Kyra spoke of. And he immediately starts <laughs> nuking the cultists. Oh god. Right. I'm gonna continue this. How are the, how this your grant? There's two spirits, uh, two imperial gods, and one of them has the magazines. The other one asks, "What do you have?" And he also complained that uh, I have right to. And even excited that uh, those sister type of sister bus are coming over to their area. But the first meet is someone that looks like they've been extreme punished with cables and such, and made into a walking candle piece, basically. Yeah, because so they almost, like that. <laughs> uh, this was a dude, even. So he, the, the one with the magazine, asked, "What happened to him?" Oh, he was found owning uh, these kind of magazines. And yeah, they were owning his own magazines. Just called, just shouted, "I need a flavor over here, stacks!" <laughs> uh, I think someone did not wish share the same fate. Yeah. <laughs> I shall grind you all to gristle beneath my trace! 
There, there we have the artifacts actually working. Okay. I have a feeling Rom was shout like that if he had a helmet and was in really big battle mood in some game. <laughs> Probably. Why should we give him big enough guns? Okay. I'm pretty you sure that line was supposed to be Lord Kyrus's gaze, Lord, Lord Kyrus' gaze. <laughs> oh god. Okay, now it's attracting all the other enemies nearby. Because we we know there's been a predator tank here every time, but we've just been ignoring it most of the times. Oh, Rob went to Kato. Okay. If he's the one retreating. Okay. And in turn for that, we get really blight grenades. Explode on impact, no. leaving a pestilent cloud of disease that infects any nearby infantry with numerous plagues. Allied units are healed and enemy units take damage. That's the final thing we get before the last mission, really? <laughs> Actually, when I think about it, after you read out that... I feel like it's one of the things you should have earned earlier, but it, but then since it also heals your own unit... Yeah, it kind of feels like it should have it at the end. It's, it's one of those... Is it too powerful? Or just something you should have earlier on to make it easier? Will it be too easy with it early on? And it looks like no one's getting level 10. <laughs> what? Okay, we can at least push Elephus into it, probably, by selling some stuff. Speaking of stuff... Crusade Armor Pattern Lightning Claws. Uh, terrifying Electrified Claws affixed to powered gauntlets. Only the mightiest Chaos Warriors may wield these fearsome weapons. And then Korn's Pendulum. Attacks hit multiple units. Can be used by Kane and Various. As it is swung, this chain axe only gains momentum with each foe it strikes. It has been known to gain such speed in a melee as to tear the arms of its wielder from their sockets. <laughs> okay. Uh, Elephas, you want a new stick to hit people with? Do you just call that damn thing a stick? Yep. Now, speaking of stick, neck biter. Let's see. 143 damage. On hit, instantly kill infantry below 20% health, plus 10% melee damage resistance. Though able to rend most armor with its, ho with, with its hooked teeth, this axe desires only to be bathed in flesh blo uh, fresh blood, seeking the vulnerable armor joints of any foe it strikes in hopes of cleaving the flesh beneath. Okay, then, or Mark of Nurgle, which just gives, which turns these tanks into even tankier tanks. Yeah, but slow, but it it's not bad. Yeah, but we already have an upgrade that makes them attack faster and harder. Also, uh, because I need to. Yo, dog, we heard you like tank, so we put a tank in your tank so you can tank while you tank. I feel like I heard of you extremely long ago. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. <laughs> Elephus can't even use this one. Uh, Kane and Various. Hmm. Let me I didn't check. I know they which... were able to melee. As, at least Kane, I did not know he could melee. Yeah. Oh, he's a he's a Chaos Marine, so of course he can. But I'm a bit surprised that uh, Elephus can't use these. Hmm. Yeah. Let me cramp that one. Wait, you took. Who uh, wanted to? Oh, good, all right. Hmm. Let's see, damage is about the same, only 11 difference. But this one has the attacks uh, hit multiple enemies one. So I think we'll actually go with that. No, I was actually expecting it to be a two-handed. I think I was expecting Elephas to be able to use it. And let's see. Fully upgrades the Mark of Corn. Additionally, Elephas is permanently consumed by flames. Yeah, that, let's grab that one. Oh dear. 
Now, how much... Okay, we, we can get the rest of them to level 10 by selling stuff, I'm pretty sure. So let's start with the older... There, with the older stuff. Here we go. And then we can just use this one. There, everyone level 10. Now, let's see. Do we go with Doppelganger? Summon a demonic minion who takes the form of a targeted enemy. Or Soul Reaper. Uh, one letter away from a Soul Reaver. It's Devours the souls of the recently departed, be they allied or enemy, regaining both health and energy. Hmm. So another spell? Not that we really use many of the spells that we have. Or just heal on any death nearby. It's gonna come by. Yes, before Snow actually listen to Doomfield Reaper. There. And there. Zombie apocalypse complete. Oh, no. Okay. Which would you say? New spell that we might not even use, or just constant healing? I don't know if I go for constant instant healing, since we are going for a boss fight. Yep. Hmm. Let me think. We will be facing some vehicles, but I'm actually a bit tempted to give <clears throat> to give him something else here. So let oh. me just look through quickly. We have Doom Spitter still here. It's freaking auto cannon. Let's see, I, not, I don't think I'll want to send him into melee because we don't. We haven't really gone down the line. Uh, actually, da -da -da. heavy use, no longer set up. Ability with each weapon type increase damage. Yeah, this is ba it's mostly. It, it's slightly leaning to uh, range stuff. Well, slightly. There's one, two. Uh, actually, what sort of abilities would you get if we equip that on you? Maim. Maim at target units, slowing their speed and increasing the damage they take. Hmm. Let's see. Heavy bolter or auto cannon? I'm thinking. Yeah, let's give him the heavy bolter. For this, we'll deal with vehicles as they pop up, because both barriers can just chuck a bomb at them. Though, let's see, blight grenades, various and Kane can use those. Hmm. I believe there was one of these somewhere that read that it would allow them to also use blight grenades, but I forget which one that was. If it was on a, a different character, or if it was only on various. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Okay, whatever it was, I must have missed it at one point or another. Uh, let's see. You can't use those. You can't use them either. Then again, we haven't really been using these much, so let's just leave them aside. Okay. Uh, let me check one last time. Suspended Hellblades. Aramon. Doom Spitter. And Korn's Pendulum. <laughs> hmm. Still a little bit split between that one and the Bile Spewer. But I kind of wanted to see how many kills he might get with this. And plus, we don't need him to make kills anymore. Anything that dies near him is going to become a zombie. <laughs> oh, this is going to be chaos. Uh, of course it's going to be chaos.
Okay, here we go. <clears throat> One way I think this game definitely could have been improved an absolute ton is if there was more chatter between units in a mission. Because typically it's it's really freaking sparse in most. Yeah. And for one last time, Kairos takes a, his sauna time to a bit of an extreme. Sauna? Oh, if you mean hot tub. Secrets now live solely with me, and so shall they die with me. Whether I'm victorious or slain, my sins will know retribution. Such is the final testimony of Gabriel Angelos, captain of the Blood Ravens, Third Company, savior of Tartarus, bane of the Black Legion, servant of the Emperor. Okay. I am curious how this is going to end up with the uh, epilogue. Also, Nero's hanging at the back whilst two of these are surrounded by flies and one is literally on fire. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. And let's let's just give this a try with uh, massive cultist spam. <laughs> See how that goes. Oh dear. Because with the other uh, factions, we have mostly just been uh, we have uh, yeah, done a lot of uh, just spamming the most basic units and seeing how that goes. But I don't think we've done it with chaos yet. So let's see how <laughs> let's see how many cultists we can bring to the field. Wait, I think you have done it a few times. At least on mm. one mission. Maybe. It was not only cultists, but it was mostly cultists. Could be. But, yeah. Until the last stretch, I think I'll stick to mostly cultists just to see how that goes. Or you just have some heavy weapons team and such, or, you know, deal with the anything heavy armored. Hmm. Yeah, maybe a few Havocs, but when we get to the end, it's mostly going to be blood letters that will be thrown at us. Hmm. True. And th didn't you skip something there? Hmm? I think you skipped something uh, further back. Uh, I think I saw it. Uh, there's power there. All right. Yeah, yeah. Every, every time... We've sent off someone to go grab that. They just got am ambushed in the previous one, so let's just skip that. We're already now not really short on time. We have half an hour, but uh, yeah, I'd still rather be done with this game without having to risk going into too much overtime. Yeah. And oh yeah, we should both say this. Next week, since we did match we to do a free to maybe future for our stream, we will start basically one hour earlier in the afternoon. Likely, yeah. So from 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. Many decades have been an honor, Gabriel. Commend my service to the Emperor. Emperor, keep you, librarian. I go now to redeem our chapter. Don't you just love um in engine cutscenes? 
are the ways of demons to lie and mislead us. Destroying it is the only way to avoid its influences. It has its charms, but uh, it also maybe got cut short there. <laughs> yep. Cut it out. What? That was for Why? room jump scaring me again. <laughs> and I, I did it to my mom as well. I just sort of like walk and say hi, and he's like, "This is not scary." <laughs> oh yeah, I, I've been there a lot. I keep telling them I'm not Jesus. I'm not Jesus, uh. but you can take a message. <laughs> Okay. I, yeah, I, I have that habit that apparently I walk so quietly. I, I, I just walk normally, apparently I walk so quietly that I, no one expects me. Hmm. Go on here, I know what you and you do with that joke. Go on. <laughs> something something Inquisition. Though in there this case go. the Inquisition is already here, or at least in the system, <laughs> trying to screw with things. Okay. Let's see how things go when we just give nearly all of our cultists uh, grenade launchers. Uh oh. Let's, go let's, let's collect them and give them all. <laughs> okay. Uh, yep. I should stop that one from producing. Move forwards to here. Uh, also, something I just <laughs> I just realized: if we're just sending mass cultists into the battle, but <laughs> there will also be a lot more servants of Nurgle to be uh, spawned when they, <laughs> when they inevitably be, inevitably die. That's true. Okay, someone go capture that. You, more grenades. Okay. Yeah. I am getting curious now as to why Gabriel's uh, cinematic got cut short. I'm pretty sure I didn't hit any buttons or such. So that must mean that there's going to be something different happening to Gabriel. Hmm? Huh, did you know that EDF, that Earth, Defen Earth Defense Force 5 takes place in 2022? Of course. Never oh really played God. any of those games. I've heard people say that they are fun, but also grindy. I think that's, I also heard the same, but also people really like the song. I wonder how many things have inspired Starship, have been inspired by Starship for the first time. Plenty. Yeah. Plenty. And I think even that one was inspired by something else. You know, the movie was based on a book. Yep. And the book was less yokeful. Yeah. It was more of a very serious tone of how uh, horrible it can turn. But also. I think also the author was also wrote that as, as a point of view that it, how they also felt in their point of view the military at that time felt wimpy for some reason. Okay. And his uh, answer to that was uh, let's make a let's make a parody on fascism. Yeah, uh, but post. Uh, gone. If I remember correctly, it was more along the lines of, like, the, the director of the movie, Paul Verhoeven, read a couple of pages of the book, but he read a chapter of the, of the novel, but just didn't get past the whole thing, and decided that instead of playing it straight, he just goes straight for the parody. Okay. Alright, for... I think the book was... If I remember, kinda controversial in some ways. 
Yeah, it was more pro military stuff like that. Yeah. Okay, so the movie is. <laughs> it just. It takes the piss not only with all of that, but also with the original book. Yeah. Yeah, yeah for. It was kind of conflicting messengers. a lot of things if nothing else so you can see the you know parody of it and just because you know it was so satire even, yeah just, even I, if we technically live in a post satire world thanks to well all the bullshits yeah i mean the second donald trump became president you said fuck it the, oh, dear. If, the, if, if the Matrix is real, then it fucked up somewhere. All the blood ravens! <laughs> is he dead or...? Wasn't that supposed to happen earlier or...? <laughs> or am, am I just starting to glaze over with my memory of this game? I want to show myself. To be fair, I think most of us may have tuned. I wasn't even there for most of the damn thing. I barely know what the hell is going on. Gabriel Angelos in battle. I shall just have to save us slaughtering his chapter master all the more. Of course. Uh, basically, uh, big red and angry is. Well, while trying to sacrifice an entire sector of space to freaking corn. Not a ban. Give a lot of God. Oh, God. <laughs> and also... now, now I'm just thinking on how hilarious it would be if it turned out that corn was just a fucking ban in this universe. Yes, out of left field. The band starts playing, and that's how oh, the no. chaos, and that's how the followers of Horn get their powers. <laughs> yeah, the noise yeah, marines would definitely like it. Yeah, bro. Uh, yeah. I try to remember. I try to remember the Starship Trooper book here. I think the author wrote it for he thought first that the military had become wimpy, and he hated the fascist a lot. Yeah. Trouble is, it seems, if I remember, it is, it is it. This was a dev long ago I heard about this, so I might remember this wrong. But if I remember it right, when he wrote it, he was a bit of blind to not realize he kind of... Yeah. Made a fascist book. Yeah, without realizing it or something. Yeah, the, the border between... Uh, there's a lot of them dying. Uh, what the border between patriotism and nationalism is extremely thin. Yeah. Yes, well, we know a certain group of people that also call themselves nationalists, and we know how that would fucking went. Yeah. Yeah, but then we have people who call themselves patriots, but we look at them, you go, um. Yeah. The same way you have a lot of people who call themselves Christian, but are the most bigoted and hateful people you would ever find. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there are many people who use a term that's not supposed to be bad, have turned it bad. Because of... extremism. Mm -hmm. I already... Are, are these stuck? Those are stuck. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> this squad is just plain stuck for some reason. Okay. Let's regroup and rearm a bit. And we just keep getting more cultists because the more of them die, the more space for new ones. <laughs> there is just look at how freaking many. <laughs> and now they start a green grave. <laughs> nah, that's just uh, COVID. Because I, these I, I, two I, I, are spreading infection around. Um, are, are you allowed to say that on Twitch? At this point, who cares? Yeah. We're all fucked anyways, so... 
Uh, more of it, we, we prefer to not have a video banned. Yeah, fair point. Let me check. Uh, it's going on. Here. It's going on. It's being recorded anyway, so I can upload it to YouTube later anywhere still. Yeah, but you probably may end up having to uh, censor it. it mm. I don't think they ban that word on YouTube. And same way more, you'll be get demonetized. Yes, we don't get, we don't make money off this anyway, so <laughs> nothing lost. Yeah. Yeah. Also, why is there a game called Cuckold Simulator? Uh, uh, because there's people. Because people are idiots. I mean, I get it if it's your fetish, but you don't really have to show it to the rest of those people. But, I think what, what the USB was called? Cuckold Simulator. Uh, oh. Okay, now I see the issue here, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I thought you said cockle. <laughs> Close enough. I mean, yeah, fuck it. Actually, what the heck is cockle, like, actually? You can, uh, I believe. You, you want yeah, me that to is just a, a or... piece of the heart, I believe. It's I a piece know. of the heart. Uh, Google it. That's the easiest way. You really, really, you... I could just explain what the fuck I'm talking about. Yeah, he, he was talking about the other thing he saw that he heard you said. The oh, same. Okay. Uh, yeah, the first thing you actually said, I know what the heck that is, just... Yeah, the, the first thing more, you heard. Yeah, the thing I misheard you was more, I miss, or I hope, more innocent compared to what you actually said. <laughs> Okay. Time to move this forwards again. I don't really even know how to spell it, even. Okay. Yep, that we kind of forgot to destroy the tower. Oops. Okay, give me that. He did. Actually, no, he did not do it again. We had been very point punctual on destroying them before. Okay. Oh, so you get many to prove yourself. I am here to lead you. Actually, is there a way for me to? Okay, yeah, I can select all cultists. So just marking all of them as group five. Okay, that way I can still easily <clears throat> select between the hero units as well, and just <laughs> mass fireworks. <laughs> Wait, oh, they are called heretics. Yeah, heretics, cultists, same. Okay, now this is open. Because apparently his aim is so bad that he manages to drop rocks here and there. Oh dear. Ah, oh, right, these. They are, they are just plain ass stuck for some reason. That's a new one, I think. It kind of looks concerning. Okay. But there's no... No deleting them or something? Nope. Actually, there is one thing I could maybe try. No, they won't even fall back. They, they're just not responding to commands at all. Huh. It's raining grenades! <laughs> Well, we're definitely ending this game with fireworks. Fire the hole! Oh, God! <laughs> we can't even see what's going on over there anymore! Okay, now we do. The smoke lightens up with... <laughs> God! It, it gets foggy quite a lot over there! 
Yeah. <laughs> you know what it reminds me of? The cartoon uh, fight cloud. <laughs> yeah. I always, I always say fight club, but I meant fight cloud. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, the only real problem we have at the moment with just this death ball of cultists is that they, well, they can easily be suppressed, but for that we can just send a, a hero unit to go kill whatever is holding them down. Uh, would we actually need tanks? Oh, there's new ones already. Two, three, and with five, and then have those there. Uh, tanks would be useful probably, but not a hard requirement or such. Like, we are still just battering them down through sheer numbers. Holy! I shouldn't forget to equip the new guys. Also, something no. else that will help just increase the damage is to have some of them start to worship. I think I got, I got to take a nap. I'm a bit tired, even though it's 10 a.m. And I got to go up and didn't sleep until like 2. Okay. <laughs> oh, I'll see you guys later. Good luck with the chaos. <laughs> see ya, and rest well. Rest well, Robin. Thank you for joining. Later. Later. See ya. Okay. Uh, uh, hello. Uh, okay, for, <laughs> for a moment I thought they got stuck as well. And again, we've just got a, an aspiring champion twerking for some reason. Uh, wait. Okay. For some reason I couldn't target it for a second. Keep pushing forwards as we keep getting reinforcements behind us. So, one of you divert off to grab that. Not that we've used any energy so far, anyways, but still. Why do we hear me that guy more now? Because we keep, yeah, because we haven't been using the uh, upgrades much. It's it's actually weapon changes and not just an upgrade or a buff. Okay, call back to uh, main game, where he screwed over Ar the Aragos, the Defiler. Yeah. Okay. I know they have those narrator things in the games here, but <laughs> we haven't heard them much. Yeah. Okay. There. 
give you your grenade launchers and then everyone just get in there and bomb his ass back into the stone age meanwhile gabriel is still lying there And just the entire army teleported into yeah, one spot. Yeah. Where the fuck are you going? Yeah, they said to be going other. Okay. What do you mean this map, map has a bug with chaos? I think it might be because there's just too many for him to, to hmm. actually get through the gap here or something. Basically. A entire hour of heretics might be a bad idea. Maybe. And okay, why are they just T posing up the wall? Okay. And there we go. Oh, change targets. That's one gone. That's two gone. This might actually be the quickest we've dealt with these, or not. Okay. Are there points on the ground? Let's pick up those. And probably not still... that we make much use of them since we've got... Uh, we're, we're at the capacity with this. Where are you idiots going? Um, you were saying about capacity? <laughs> that's all of a sudden, that's a bunch of them gone all of a sudden. You, you would have way but he also made a big side slash across the entire uh, group. <laughs> it's okay, I've got to make a note of that to point that out. One, five, five. Okay, that was, that was probably his breath attack. No, no, it was not the breath attack. He just swung his arm at you. <laughs> Let's see, for some reason we can't build a shrine. And that's an incoming attack. It's probably going to wipe out a good bunch more, so let's see how much of a jump uh, that you, is. You already have a shrine over there. <laughs> and there's the more than half. <laughs> yeah. We need the uh, reinforcement on a bit stronger time there, so. Uh, you say that, dreadful? but he's still going down real fast. I think it. Hmm, could it be because we can. Okay, we need, we need enough of them to do this. Okay. So a, a group of them that's too weakened to. Just can't build a shrine. Yep. And to deal with those blood letters. And yeah, this, this yeah, Nebuchadnezzar <laughs> is not having a good day. Technically, this is more of the uh, Imperial Guards' style, but it still works. Yeah. Holy. You don't worship that. Oh, so I mean unholy in this case. <laughs> okay, come on, everyone on the... You. That's what the <laughs> feed did earlier. <laughs> okay, yeah, that... Lost. Okay, that is definitely is throwing so many of them around. I'm surprised my computer wasn't slowing down on that. Uh, even the mighty demon prince is less menacing when bowing before me. His grip this world is weakening. Now is our chance to open a warp lift to tear him from this plane! I'm not sure if he sounds scared there or something else. More stressed out. 
Uh, come on. What are you waiting for? Banish this demon so that I may Get fulfill there. my bargain with Abaddon. Complaining at us directly. Okay, right. I clicked a bit. Of, I, I clicked on his head, but it was supposed to be aimed at his body. Yoink. <laughs> yep. <laughs> come on. It's late to the party. <sighs> yes, I have felt your victory, Ifas. Shall I remind you that the exterminators across this sector is underway this very moment? How will you address this? Good point there. I will do nothing. Terminatus will run its course. The souls of the Blood Ravens are yours, War Master Abaddon. He says as he looms over Gabriel, who technically is still alive, but well, he won't be for long. And yeah, this actually makes sense with. <laughs> They don't give a crap about uh, the exterminators beyond what it affects them for, yeah, which uh, is not much. <laughs> okay, still under two hours, so that went pretty well. Now, yeah. Let's see. Oh, God. No war gear, not that we would have been able to use it anyways. Now, let's see. Don't tell me the game is just... There we go. Designate Centaurus, Astropath Duct 1129-Theta-1. Priority message to Inquisitor Edmarius. Message from Adrastia. The exterminatus of subsector Aurelia is complete. The fleet has already departed. But I fear their task has left us with more. My acolytes have received a distress box from Captain Gabriel Angelos of the Blood Ravens. <laughs> So Gabriel did survive, and it was... Okay, this time it was Eliphas who descended to demonhood. Okay. That, 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 actually, makes, that actually makes sense. Eliphas just stole Kairos' sacrifice for corn. Well, he said he donated them to Abaddon. So... I'm so confused. Only he just played a little lie. That's all very... That wouldn't be too surprising. But yeah, that is all of these campaigns done. Uh, eh, no, there, there it is again. Press the arrow button to uh, the other arrow button. 666. <laughs> okay. And yeah, with that, we are finally done with this game. Uh, yeah, I, I've said it constantly. This game is, in general, good. But it is undercooked. They definitely yeah, should have spent more time on it, fleshing out each campaign for different you know, to be different. In part, it could just be because playing on diff on lower difficulty also nerfs our uh, the amount of gear that we get and the quality of it. Because with some, we just really got almost nothing at all. Yeah, and a lot of times we just basically almost spoiled on. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, but if they ever remake the uh, Dawn of War series, I really hope they they polish up Retribution a bunch. Like there's probably with the story and stuff, it uh, can't be done. But at the very least, <laughs> get make the gear uh, more interesting, make the factions more diverse than they already are. Or uh, most of the time, you can just still get through with the same tactics. But uh, yeah, just make more unit variety and such. Yeah, and mm. if they do the most, I would say add more levels. Yeah. The levels that are unique, like, like double the levels, but make the other half of the levels unique to that faction specifically. Yeah, maybe fifty percent more would be more reasonable. 
And yeah, with this game done, that means we are also just plain done with the Dawn of War series. Or at least as far as we were going to stream them. There is still Dawn of War 3, and I, I might consider streaming that at some point, but not, uh, not yet. I, if, if I'm going to get it, I'm going to get it on big discount, because it is not worth the full price from what I've heard, at least for, well, the quality. N maybe not so much quality of it, but more just it doesn't fit. <laughs> it, it just sticks out like a sore thumb compared to the others. Yeah, and let's not forget, apparently so someone did recently do a re review of it, the one reason is like it's only the outer half of the campaign that apparently gets good. Yeah, and well, yeah. with games, yeah, when a game, it, yeah, when someone tells you a game gets good after X zero amount of hours, uh, yeah, most people are not going to bother. Yeah, and probably is many people quit the game before they reach that point. Uh, so that will probably tell you how bad the first half is. Yeah. But I guess we will have to find that out eventually. If slash when we do stream it. I, will, I don't own it at the moment, I believe. So I will just get it when it's on a discount below in a like a double digit, single digits of uh, euros. And yeah, we'll see if and when we pick it up. But for now... We are done with Dawn of War, though we won't be done with Warhammer 40k, of course, because there are other games of it that are still up for possible streaming eventually. Or with more certainty than Dawn of War 3, at least. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, for now, now that we're done with this game as well, we'll be moving, next week we'll be moving on to, well, one longer stream instead of two shorter streams. Uh, we'll see what we do with Sundays. We'll probably eventually do the same there on, once we're done with the second season of Showcase Sunday. Um, yeah, in part because we've been going through our side games quite quickly as well. And I'd rather not run out of those. <laughs> yeah, do do who definitely was the main quest game that became a side quest. And that dragged on quite a while. Yeah, we we've been since the start with since, since we started with Dawn of War One, it's been like six months by now. Yeah, that's quite a lot. <laughs> but yeah, for the most part, I still enjoyed it. Uh, one more thing on the change of schedule: it's likely that we'll change. Uh, we'll start earlier with the with the longer streams, two a uh, two p.m. instead of three p.m. Uh, yeah, or you we can go from. Uh, we can go from three to six. Uh, depend will probably depend with dinner and such. Though that has been more collectively been late around seven over here. It used to be earlier around six or so, but uh, we'll see. <clears throat> I think we used to do so showcase Sunday at or start at at two p.m. as well, but uh, hmm, no, no, we'll see. We we, we did it like twelve thirty. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, for the moment, uh, we're likely to start an hour earlier on the weekends, at least on su uh, Saturdays, Sundays, when we are done with Showcase Sunday again. And yeah, main week streams will mostly stay the same for now, two hours each. But it'll also be happening two times per week instead of once. <clears throat> um, hmm. Yeah, I yeah, think that's we, about it. Yeah, we did mention that maybe we return to Valheim on Wednesday, but that's a maybe. Yeah, we're working on that. We could move it to the weekend as well. Like At the moment, we have two possible spots for multiplayer stuff, Monday and Wednesday. If we move uh, Wednesday to the weekend, yeah, that could work. Yeah, do. Three hours on uh, of Valheim? Are you sure you can handle that? Yeah, probably. Or we just go short, or we just go until uh, yeah, we just <laughs> we don't really feel up for it anymore, uh, or something else pops up. We'll just have to see. Yeah, you have to see. For now, though, 
Let's go look for someone to raid before we end the stream. So let me remove the always on top. And it's a busy day, it seems. So let me change over the screen share. Twitch, live, so that Rakir can see. Uh, let's see, let me narrow this down. We have... Uh, ta -ta -ta -ta. Wolfenstein in New Order. Daniel Ope is playing that. Um... Dr. Misunderstood is playing Dead Island Riptide. Someone just went offline, it seems. And as a third option... Um, Horatius the Dwarf is playing Deep Rock Galactic Survivor. Okay. Yeah, that one got extremely popular. Yeah, it, it's also... It, it, is a, it is a clone of... You know, not really a clone. It's it's another Survivors game, which, well, since Vampire Survivors has become really oversaturated. But at the, at the absolute least, what I've seen of Deep Rock you know, DRG Survivors, that it's, for one, it's cheap, like 10 bucks. And beyond that, I have heard a little bad about it. <clears throat> yeah, same. Uh, I've seen a little bit, but it wasn't, wasn't really for me, but I can see why some people like it. Okay. DRG Survivor, then? Or anyone else you see here? Maybe someone else, but they, they have uh, a lot of uh, viewers at the moment. And uh, they're still on the... <laughs> They're still on the limit we set for ourselves with that. Oh, K9 is online with uh, Helldivers 2. I think we rated them somewhat recently, but I yeah, forget. we did. We did. Um, oh, yeah. yeah now it's mm -hmm. a bit if, if, tricky here. Yeah, let, let's go raid Dynalope then. I don't think we've rated them in quite a while. Double I think they rated them like. last week. Or was that them? Let me double check for visual. Uh, oh, yeah, actually. Did we rate them or did we check someone else? I'm throwing uh, a blank this now. Week. I don't think we rated them this week. Okay. Dynalope then? Yeah, let's go that, uh, to them. Okay. Been a while since I've seen or played any Wolfenstein game. I'm, I'm considering putting some of the new ones up for the stream list. I think I actually skipped them over with... Uh, showcase sundays but we are heading towards uh, w so we'll be showcasing at least one probably all right but for now slash rate danlope but before we start that of course thank you everyone who's watching now or later thank you sensei tadpole thank you any lurkers uh, no lurkers according to the chat at least and thank you as always right here and rom in absence you're welcome as always, my friend. And thank you all for watching here on Twitch and on YouTube. Yeah. And if nothing gets in the way, then in about three hours, uh, two hours and 50 minutes about, we will be continuing with Partisans 1941, who, well, next week we'll be moving into earlier in the day. <clears throat> uh, but yeah, for now, let's get that raid started. There we go. And yeah. Thank you again for watching, and until next time, have a nice day, and until then. Be safe, everyone, and watch out for undead seagulls and chaos seagulls. Or space gulls, I guess. Yeah, cutting me off with that one, huh? I'm fast. <laughs>